Ta-da, okay, started. This is our um, official Twy Hardcore Gals review of Breaking Dawn. <laughs> or as we like to call it, Burning Dawn. Which, yes, we are members of that site. And okay, you yeah, ignorant... I'm not really not members okay. of any site. Well, you will be eventually. Yes, ma'am. But, um, no, um, and Case for you... The gag didn't signify yet uh, to anybody yet. Yeah, I hated it. Yeah. Me too. She hasn't even finished it, and she's kind of, like, not wanting to. And, I mean, a lot a lot of people will say out there, like, you should finish it. It could change your mind. And she's uh, gotten through the part won't. that... I'm sorry. It really yeah. won't. Jacob's I, I, part was, like, the best, I think. Until the end. Until the end. Until yeah. the end. Okay, and wait, wait, wait. Exactly just to clarify. Wait, hold right. on. We have to we have to say this just to clarify so people realize. If you're watching this video, you are on our Twy Hardcore Gals account, which means you can look at how dedicated we are as fans. We went all the way up to up to Portland, like and obviously like our apartment, like I have a whole wall of Twilight. Okay, this is Dana, by the way. She yeah. spent like a bazillion and one dollars on a Twilight poster because she's such a hardcore fan girl. Yeah, and I mean, we are far from being, you know, like the average person who just says like, oh, it sucks. Okay, we are dedicated We are part hearts. of the fandom. Yeah, and we, as part of the fandom, we protest this book. We yeah. protest and protest. Okay, so mm -hmm. first we're going to have... Mm, well, Stacy, do you want to review it first? Since you, you've read the less, lesser amount. Um, okay. I just have a few problems. <laughs> okay. Um, the whole getting married at really young. Nah. <laughs> like, I get he's really old and all that stuff, and they're very mature, but not so much. But so to take it a step further, when she got pregnant, I was just like, okay, hold up. <laughs> that was way too far for me. Just because... She's so young? Is well, that yeah, why? Is that in... It's like, well, okay, your honeymoon. You got pregnant on your honeymoon. I'm like, okay... I don't know what Mormons' views are on protection, like... No, well, no, more, okay, my, my dad, my dad is a Mormon, and mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of Mormons practice this, but they don't really, like, my, my dad's family doesn't really believe in protection. Sort of like a Catholic. Yeah, That's well, okay. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think they would have, to, they would think to worry about protection, because he's, like, mad. A vampire? I, yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess <laughs> I okay, which, really go which which is a really head. good point to go into. <laughs> Um, Stephanie kind of addressed this in her concert series, and I don't know if you guys saw it, but the whole, um, saying that vampires, you know, can't have children. She said that vampires can't have children. Well, yes, Rosalie could not have a child, but so you should, can't, like, yeah, but can't the, the male vampires child. shouldn't be f fertile either, because they're, I mean, yeah, what it makes the guys so great? <laughs> It no, makes no, sense, I guess, just, uh, in, because from, like, guys can have scientific yeah, guys can have children until they die. Right, so. yeah, that's true. And they sucks, they but. still have um, they well, it would make sense for them to retain whatever like sperm they had when they died. Yeah, and so it's still there. So that I means he's that, just gonna run out. So okay, right, wait. He's not so basically, what anymore. would have happened? And ex but the, we're but sorry for all the know, youngsters out there, but that means Edward sure. didn't masturbate. Like, what? ever? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, he know, couldn't I'm have. Sorry, the fact that he we're couldn't have. like, vampire sperm is one of the reasons why I hated Burning Dawn. I know. It's okay, wait. Where it wait, okay, let me go. explain that so you get what I was trying to say, Stacey. Okay. okay. If they are stuck how they were, yes. Edward would only have the A sperm that was, like, in his body at the time. He so can't make more. He can't make more. So that means Edward went that long without masturbating. Uh-huh. And imagine that, like, on top, like, he can hear everyone's <laughs> thoughts. So, like, when <laughs> Emmett and Rosalie are going at it, like, he has to, like, get out of there or distract himself. <laughs> so <laughs> piano music! <laughs> That's how he got so good at piano. <laughs> it's his masturbation. Okay, that his call lack in the book was just, like, annoying as yeah. hell. Yeah, like, you want to know why I'm so good at piano and everything? Because everybody else was busy getting down with their partner 24-7, <laughs> and I was all alone. Yeah. Okay, another I, problem. Yeah. Another problem. Okay. okay, sorry. Bella's, like, out of commission too much in the book. Mm. She is a complete mm -hmm. wimp. 
Not, well, I mean, understandably, she's, she's not like, a character. She's not a character. I'm just like, okay, you, it's mostly written in first person, and all of a sudden, it jumps to Jacob, which I think is a little just sort of random. Just, I, that was the too, only part I liked in the book. I know, and I it's, know, it's and the Jacob only part was I like, liked. Jacob like, whining emo as hell. I know, but... I like, like to snark, to talk, to talk about it technically, it's just sort of, like, too convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Such as the whole thing with Bella's child, like, growing up really, really fast, that's too convenient yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yay, happy cookie-cutter ending fairy Wait, wait, wait. And, and then on top of that, Bella's child growing up so fast, and then, like... You know, just stopping at a certain point. That doesn't make sense. How is she growing and then gonna stop? Stephanie didn't really like, in my opinion, she didn't address that very well. If they were going, they if they were going into the scientific route, which they did with all the genes and stuff, mm -hmm. they did such a crap job of explaining it. And that I I think Stephanie Meyer was like trying to get out of explaining it when um, Jacob like lost interest and couldn't follow Doc uh, Carlisle Cullen and. Um, What's his face? Edward. I don't know who else he was talking with about the genetics and stuff, and he couldn't follow it. And to me, that was just a cop The extra like, gene. Yeah, it was it. like, all right, you couldn't be bothered to come up with more research or figure out an explanation for all this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing that bothered me. Bella was so convinced that stupid thing was a boy. She's like, oh, my little boy. Oh, how cute. So that didn't really... Well, see, okay, you guys seriously need... I mean, I'm, I'm not like harping on your review or anything because I agree with a lot of what you're saying but you need to watch the, the concert series so you can hear like how she argued with people see I don't want to hear anything more that Stephanie yeah. Meyer says I don't well also it's like it shouldn't have to be I shouldn't have to go outside of the book to find explanations yes. for what's yeah. in the book exactly you know, it should be all there uh, the book yeah. is the book I agree but um so the imprinting. What's your opinion, Stacey? <laughs> Gag me with a spoon. Yeah. Your opinion? <laughs> that's yours. That's mine, too. I seriously remember thinking as I was reading this book, <laughs> like, oh my god, if Jacob imprints on this kid, I'm going to go nuts. Because I actually flipped in the back because I, I, when I saw, I saw that there was all the lists, so I saw Rosalie, so I already knew that the kid was going to be a girl. So, yeah, and then it was just like, oh, please don't, please don't, no imprinting. And then, like, there was so much great development of Leah and yes. Jacob together. Oh. Even, like, there wasn't Lake a is lot, epic. like, romance, I mean, there really wasn't romance, but, but Leah's character, there, and Leah's character developed so much mm -hmm. just in Jacob's section. And yeah. you could really see sort of a friendship growing between the two. Yeah. Maybe and even more, because Jacob did have right. that point where he even thought about that. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, he's and like, what if I ended up with her? Jacob imprinted on Bella, so he can't have Bella, so he has Bella Jr. That's retarded. That's and retarded. And that's kind of creepy. And it's an infant. Like, still creepy. Well, okay, I'm you gotta think like about old. it. Wasn't it Quill who imprinted yeah. on and I, don't, I don't like that either. Was kind of I don't like that either. But okay, yeah, and then, I'm like, gonna have to cut. Drops off at the end of Jacob's book when we just see her in passing, so her character never finishes yeah. development. And, it's, and she's like one of my favorite characters, too. I really. <laughs> Wait, who, Leah? I didn't care that much about Leah until Breaking Dawn. Uh huh. Well, okay, obviously, I've been, like, a diehard Leah Jake fan I since. Because <laughs> it's biblical. Hello, it's in the Bible. It should have been in Breaking Dawn. Okay, that's why you're, okay, yeah. You're it right. is. God, God ships. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah anyways, um, I have to cut this video off because it's going a little long, and then I'll start part two of it. Okay. Okay, so, uh.